All right, so we're here at the um, Sapphire uh, Suite at uh, CS 2011. We've had to hold on to this video a little bit for um, NDA reasons, but uh, the big news for Sapphire at CES is that they're trying to um, make a um, big impact on the motherboard market. As you know, Sapphire has had um, motherboards, um, but now they're really focusing on motherboards. And what we've got here, which is really big news for the industry actually, is a um, Intel-based Sapphire motherboard. As you know, Sapphire is um, a really close partner with um, AMD, um, especially with their, you know, their Radeon video cards. But what we've got here is an Intel um, P67 motherboard. This is the pure black P67 Sapphire motherboard. Um, so we go over the board here, um, we can have a look at some of the features. Um, we'll come around to the I.O. ports. Um, getting a look here, you've got Bluetooth there. You've got USB 3, all the good stuff that you want. Uh, what I have noticed on here is there's a Lucid um, solution on here. So that means that you're going to be able to um, mix and match uh, the uh, video cards in uh, dual configuration. Uh, this system here that you're looking at, you're looking at the three monitors setup, that is actually coming from the X58 motherboard. Unfortunately, it's uh, stuck in there. They don't have a board out that we can look at. Uh, it's running in this system, this is the box. So not only is Sapphire coming out with the P67, they've also got an X58. Now off, just off camera before, the X58 should be coming onto the market real soon in January. Uh, coming back over here to the P67, uh, that might be a little bit later because we've been told they're just making some final adjustments to it. So this board you're looking at here is an early sample, so it may change a little bit. But um, it looks like from where, of course we haven't seen any performance yet, uh, overclocking is going to be a big one for Sapphire um, because they really, they really want to um, attack the motherboard market and get into it in a big way. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. Just uh, over here, one of the, uh, one of the, one of the uh, case models that Sapphire worked with, a Texan guy I've been told, has actually just uh, made this really neat looking um, case mod for Sapphire. And this is actually running their um, X58 motherboard. Uh, our lighting, unfortunately, is not too good. You can see some pulse of memory there. A big caller, nice and loud. Power supply in here. And uh, yeah, it looks real good. So this has been Cameron here at the um, Sapphire Suite. Looking at uh, basically what Sapphire intend to do um, by hitting the motherboard market in what looks like a pretty big way. So. Uh, See how they go, and uh, yeah, here's your look at uh, what's on show. Okay, just one thing we spotted as we were uh, finishing up here. This is the uh, cooler. They're calling it Sapphire is calling it the Black Freezer. Uh, coming closer here, you can see this is actually the cooler for the X58 motherboard. You couldn't see the motherboard, but what you can see here is a really heavy duty cooler. It's a water cooling, so you get the connectors here. Um, it's a solid, it's a solid block. I'm not kidding you, it's like really heavy. And it looks like it's um, going to offer some really solid cooling performance. So um, if this is any, in, any indication, um, Sapphire is um, looking pretty serious about uh, hitting the motherboard market and probably maybe hitting some uh, good overclocks. So uh, there you go.